We're now joined by Anne Litz. He is a member of the European Parliament from Germany's Social Democratic Party who was at the court in Istanbul today. It's good to have you with us, Mr. Litz. Um, and so what sort of accusations were made by the prosecutors today on the first uh, day of the trial? The prosecutors uh, said and the accusation is uh, basically the labeling which has had happened throughout the last 10,000 people here being now imprisoned under the special rule after the uh, situation we had last year. And it is that uh, they are accused to be members of a uh, terrorist organization like a special far part of Gulen, but also in the PKK. And uh, also that they uh, support them by writing about them and uh, it was clear that this is actually a false situation, as one of the journalists straight pretty forward that uh, he actually wrote about these uh, groups and said that they are harmful for the Turkish democracy and warned about them. So that accusation is definitely not uh, against him because he's actually a journalist who spoke out against that and that showcases that this labeling which has been taken by Erdogan to shut down all critics against his government is also trying to be used here in this case. Now, this is obviously a case that has gained a lot of interest. So what was the atmosphere like in the courtroom? The interest is uh, very important because this is actually a special case. Uh, Chum Hurriyet is the oldest newspaper in Turkey and one of the most critical ones against the government. And uh, it appeared that it was very difficult. It was chaotic scenes. We couldn't really get into uh, the courtroom and had to fight for it for over an hour uh, to just uh, being in an area of five meters, crossing them after 45 minutes. Then entering the courtroom, the same situation occurred. Not enough places were available. It was very hot, very sticky, and uh, it was very difficult uh, to, to stay in the room for many hours, as most of the people did throughout the whole day. Right. Now, these accused have obviously been uh, said to be behind very serious allegations, but how are they treated? Well, no one said that they have been treated uh, uh, badly in terms of their health, but uh, we have had many situations where the accused journalist said that, for example, one of them uh, had no paper anymore about his, uh, his case and they took it away from him. And so uh, the uh, court then had to postpone uh, him questioning uh, until well, for tomorrow. Another uh, accused uh, person from Chumhurit, he's a lawyer, and he said all his ties have been taken away. This is the first time he is occurring uh, in front of a court without a tie, and that shows that they are trying to dehumanize the people to uh, put pressure on them. This is by no means a good legal case and no legal uh, court situation. Uh, the pressure is very high, but uh, the journalists uh, made very clear and strong statements and so I have foreseen that they are not broken um, and I hope that they still keep the way they appear today in court. Anja Litz, thank you for joining us. Welcome.